My Hello World application here is almost complete. I have fully functioning main and renderer process code set up, and I have auto updates working for Mac. Getting auto updates working for Mac is similar to Windows, except for a few key differences. The native Windows framework that Electron Auto Updater works with, called Squirrel.Windows, is a little different from Squirrel.Mac. First thing I've done here is I've added a few additional dependencies. I've added Electron Builder Squirrel Windows. So this this tells Electron Builder to bundle Squirrel.Windows with our compiled application. And I've added Electron Squirrel Startup. Electron Squirrel Startup helps with a few of those Windows differences that occur when your application is started after an auto update. We're gonna go ahead and glance at this Electron Squirrel Startup's uh, source code really quickly. So this is Electron Squirrel Startup's main source code. You can see that it exports the results of a function called check. In check, you can see it grabs the process arguments passed to our application, and based on those, prof those process arguments, whether they be squirrel-install or updated, it runs um, it runs different commands. It says create shortcut or remove shortcut, etc. Squirrel.windows bundles an, a separate ex executable file with your application. This module is calling that executable. It's called update.exe. You can see right there. So it calls update.exe and tells it to, to do all this stuff with your shortcuts to make sure that after update, all of the app all of your application shortcuts in Windows are pointing to the correct application version, etc. So let's see how we just how we integrate that with our code. So in our main.js, in our main process, um, this is really simple. We're just going to require it. So remember, it, it exports the results of that function. So that function is true. What we want to do is just exit out of our application because Squirrel is going to do its stuff, and then it's going to quit our application and restart it. So that's super simple, and that handles some auto-updating work that we need on Windows. And then in our package.json, we just need to add some additional configuration to our Electron Builder config. So I'll we'll add Squirrel Windows, and we need to provide an actual URL for the icon. So for our purposes, I'm just going to use our update server, which we have running locally, and I've already put our ICO file on there. In production, ideally, this is an HTTPS URL. And then we're also, we're going to add a build, we have to explicitly set a build target for squirrel.windows. So we're just going to add that here. And this is, this is why we needed to add electron builder squirrel-windows as a dependency. Okay, let's jump onto Windows and run our build script. So I'm going to run our build assets buildwin.cmd script. Okay, so our build script completed. We have our version 1.0.0. I already have my my update server running that's serving 1.0.1 on it so let's run the installer here to set it up okay so our application started with version 1.0.0 and then we have update available so let's update our application and then now we're on 1.0.1 awesome it worked so on our desktop we can see that squirrel has added a shortcut on our desktop for us and if we inspect it the start in field we go to the very end we can see that it is telling it to start the 1.0.1 version. So we can see the squirrel behind the scenes has handled adding the shortcut and then updating it appropriately.